Hello friends. Welcome. My name is Leah. Welcome to Make All the Things with Me. Welcome to the Artistry Collective Live YouTube crafting event hosted by Christy from Christy's Crafty Cottage. Thank you so much for having me, Christy. I appreciate it. I love Wednesdays. I look forward to every Wednesday. Um, tonight is Crafter's Choice and We've had um, Ashana from Fraps and, and Scraps. Um, we had Christy from Jun Funky Junk Inspirations join us tonight. She was on before me. If you came here from either one of those pages, please say hi. Let me know how you got here. Um, give us a you know, like and a follow, um, subscribe to our channels, help us grow. Um, we get together every Wednesday at the same time. Um, and then after me is Christy from Christy's Crafty Cottage, <laughs> my sweet, sweet friend. Um, I am so excited to be here. So it's Crafter's Choice. What are we going to make tonight? Um, so I'll wait for a few of you, few of you to uh, pop on. I'm just going to do some computer things here make sure that I am live um, let's see am I live <laughs> uh, I am live yeah so I'll wait for a few of you to uh, pop on okay Let's go. So, yeah. So, welcome. I'll wait a few minutes before I start and explain my craft. Um, welcome. Thank you for being here. I hope you all found my page okay. I know there's been a few problems. I have to work on that. Um, so, yeah. Oh, there she is. Hey, Christy. How are you? <laughs> you are the sweetest friend. Um, thank you so much for having me. I am so honored to be a part of this group, um, to join you guys here on Wednesday nights. I look forward to Wednesday nights. I love Wednesday nights. Um, I love being here on YouTube. <laughs> so I wanted to, um, give you a little peek at what I'm doing tonight. So, um, about seven months ago, I made this belly cast with a poor friend, my very, very dear friend. Um, she was pregnant. She was doing a month. We decided to do a belly cast. I have done some work. Seven months now. The baby is six months old. Um, I've done a little bit of work on it. I have painted it. Here it is. And it's been in my house and my craft room waiting for me. So let's see if I can show it without a glare. There it is. I have painted <laughs> it. Um, this is a Waverly color. I believe it's dusk. And then this are mountains. So her theme is woodland animals. So what I did was on my Cricut, I cut out vinyl um, to use as a stencil. Uh, just some woodland animals, some a woodland scene. Um, this right here represents mountains because she's got mountains in the baby's room with woodland animals. Um, I've been putting it off because I need to paint the woodland animals on here. So I used the stencil, as you can see, then I peeled it off and I have, you know, the space here. So now all I have to do is just paint it. Um, and then in the areas, let's see, let's, so I don't get the glare here. Let's turn it a little bit. Okay, so I don't know if you can see the white there. I went over um, with ivory just a little tiny bit over the areas of the vinyl for the areas that wasn't covered, you know, that was in mountain. And then I think what I'm going to do is, so when, for the baby's birth announcement, she asked me to cut out um, with my with my Cricut from vinyl, um, uh, the words worth the wait. 
Um, and I think, thank you. And I think what I'm going to do is cut out vinyl again. I don't know if I'm going to do a stencil, stencil or actually put the vinyl on the belly cast. Um, but I'm going to put worth the weight on there. Um, they waited a long time for him to come and he is a precious baby. Um, this pregnancy was so special. Um, I was like a part of it from, you know, cheering her on and helping her and being her best buddy, um, for this whole thing. And, um, yeah, it was just a really beautiful, beautiful pregnancy, beautiful birth, beautiful. Oh, the baby is just so beautiful. Now such a happy baby. And, um, so, and I have her belly <laughs> and it's so funny because we started, um, after I did it, she was eight months pregnant and like week by week we were comparing the belly cast and how much she was changing every week. Uh, it was really, it was really fun and cool to have this. So, um, she chose the woodland animals. I'm going to go ahead and start painting it tonight. I need, I want to get it to her. Um, I will see her next Friday. I hope I have it done. Um, but it's about time. So I figured tonight I'm going to work on something that, um, has been on my mind to work on. Um, and I think I've been putting it off because I, I have to paint. Um, I haven't painted in a long time. <laughs> um, so that's what I'm going to be, be working on tonight. And, uh, so, um, okay. Yeah, no, I was just, uh, heard a little sound. My, my animals are over there. <laughs> making some noise. Um, all right. So let me get this belly out of the way here and let me turn the camera around. I, I did do make a reel. Um, I've made one and I was with, um, my friend who taught me how to do this. Um, so I have two reels on, um, Facebook and YouTube. So if you're interested to see, uh, you know, it's sped up quite a bit, but if you're interested to do this and see how it's done, thank you, Christy. I appreciate it. Um, go watch my, my reels and my shorts. Um, thank you so much. I appreciate it. So what I have here is, I don't know if you could see plaster wrap by craft smart at Michael's. We used, um, almost four boxes. So maybe three and a half boxes of this plaster wrap and it comes in strips. And what you do is, oh my goodness, Christy, it's the, it's the medicine. Um, a little while ago I did an inhaler. The air is so thick and my lungs feel so heavy. So I live in the mid Hudson Valley, New York. I'm about 400 miles from the Canadian border. I am south of the Canadian border and the air is just so thick with the smoke from Canada and you can smell the burn. It, I, I can't even imagine that smell travels so far and the smoke is so thick and that it travels so far. Everything is hazy and yellow and thick. My chest feels heavy. Um, everything smells like a campfire. It, you, you can smell the woods burning. Um, and it's, uh, it, it's so eerie and it's surreal and it's creepy. And there's, Hey, Shana, hello. How are you? Um, and yesterday I, um, we had bad weather too. So we had storms all day. Internet electricity was coming on and off. Um, and, and it, it the morning it was hazy, but I thought it was hazy because it was supposed to rain. And when we went out at lunchtime, it poured, it poured after, after that, it got really, really hot and muggy and the sky was yellow. It was just so bizarre and, 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 and so eerie. And my head, I couldn't even like think straight. I had such a headache. My sinuses were burning. My eyes were burning. My throat was burning. I, I'm, I feel that way today. Um, the smell is everywhere. It's, it's just insane. Um, 
last summer we had fires in the mountain here and it wasn't as it wasn't near as close as what's going on right now. Um, I can't imagine what it's like for the people that live there that are living near these fires. Um, it's hard to breathe. Um, it's just, I don't know. And everything in my head. So, you know, today I doubled up on the allergy medicine, doubled up, um, on my decongestant. Um, it's kind of helping. Um, I had to do an inhaler. My allergies have just been like really bad lately. And just these last few days have been like so bad. I had to take a Benadryl last night, come home and lay down. I, I can't even remember the last time I felt so, I'm not even when I had that sinus and eye infection, did I feel this bad? Um, it's just so heavy in your, in, in your chest, you feel it and worry about my pets, you know, cause they say, don't go outside seal the windows, seal the door, seal all the air. We've had the doors closed. We have air purifiers running. They're running nonstop. Um, <clears throat> it's just, it's bad. It's really bad. And it's moving down south. So Christy's in Maryland and she said it's, they've got poor air quality. I don't know. Do you have that thickness? Do you have that haze yet? And the smell, do you have the smell? It's just, oh, it's just insane. But anyway, so <laughs> that's, that's what we're dealing with tonight. Um, and, uh, I desperately wanted to go to bed tonight too, just to like, you know, take another Benadryl. Cause that really seemed to help me sleep last night. Um, but as I was saying, this is plaster wrap. This is how it comes. It comes in this little bag. It's just like plaster. So it's like gauze covered in plaster and it comes in, um, and they also have a, a bigger size too. And it comes like this and you unwrap it, you cut it to the size you need, you dunk it in water. Oh, thank you so much. Um, you dunk it in water, in warm water, and then you put it on the belly and you wait for it to dry. Um, let me show you again, just in case you didn't get to see it. That's what it looks like. So what you want to do beforehand is rub Vaseline all over the belly, all over the front. If you're wearing like the sports bra on the sports bra, um, put it on there, get it like how you want it, adjust it, <laughs> smooth it out the best you can. I did end up having to smooth some out with, um, a sanding block. Um, and then you, um, want to kind of speed up the drying process. You get a hair dryer on a very low temperature and just, you know, all around the belly until it's, it's dry enough and, and set enough. And then you gently remove it. And like I said, I do have a short, I have two shorts and two reels showing how we made this. Um, it is so incredible and it is so special. Um, and if I was going to design it, I would do just like maybe one or two colors with some bling or something like that. So, but my friend, let me take a sip of my coffee, put it in a safe spot. I'm painting with, um, chalk paint because that's what I have. I don't have an extensive collection of, um, of acrylic paints. So this, this is the belly so far. This is, um, uh, dusk by Waverly. And then this, I believe, is hazelnut. So this is representing a mountain, mountains because she has mountains and woodland um, creatures in the baby's room. And so what I did was I took vinyl, used it as a stencil, painted over it, peeled off the vinyl in the areas where there was nothing behind it. I just lightly with ivory just kind of wet, you know, tapped <laughs> around the edges of it so I would have something to work with. Um, so I am going to, let's see if I can get this to sit correctly. And so you all can see it. Yeah. Let's do it this way right here. And I'm going to start painting the tree and I have a few shades of Brown here. Um, let's see which one of these is open. Okay. So I've got this hazelnut open and, and I'm kind of a little nervous. And I think this is why I have been putting this off because, um, 
I haven't painted in a while. Um, you know, and it takes, I mean, this, I, I did this in so many stages. I did a couple lives where I just painted this first, then I did the vinyl and the, um, um, and the stenciling on it. All right. So I have two, two acrylics. One is burnt umber and one is espresso. I don't know if I've used this before. <laughs> and I'm just going to put it out. I have just wax paper out here. I might need a little bit more because I do have a stump. And I have all different. I have a bunny. I have some deers. I have some birds. I have an owl. Ooh. Here we go. And I'm just going to have fun and paint and get this out of my house and into her house. <laughs> and I have some sandstone here too. I'm just going to shake it up for the shading. And then, like I was saying, I'm going to get um, cut out some vinyl that says um, worth the wait. They waited a long time. Hey, Christy from Funky Junk Inspiration. Oh, my goodness. Your butterflies were amazing and beautiful. I had you on and I was watching you the whole time. I wasn't able to comment too much. But I was there. <laughs> and Shauna, oh, my goodness. Okay, you have given me such inspiration. I can do this. I think I can I can start. Um, I watched you <laughs> create that uh, junk journal, the start of it, and I think I can do that. I mean, I've been doing that for years. <laughs> All right. What? Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Like I said, if I if it was my choice, I would have um probably just done one or two colors and blinged it out. So I figured, you know, crafter's choice. And I, you know, I haven't really been motivated. I, last night, you know, I've been wanting to craft, but this weather and whatever this is, that's, that's around. <laughs> and so I'm just um, pretty much coloring inside the lines where the stencils, where the vinyl was on the stencil, um, on the belly, I mean. And so I'm pretty much just, uh, you know, coloring with paint. <laughs> yes. Um, and like I told you before, I have been collecting the boxes, all different size boxes to to start my journals um and i have a stash of paper that i coffee and tea stained somewhere some doilies uh last weekend i was at the ufo festival and there was a bookstore that had a, this big shelf unit of free books you could take and i picked some really cute picture books well at, one was a, a it was like I don't know if it was like United States or geography. I got to look at it again. Um, uh, it had all different uh, um, like glossy prints of around America. One was um, a teddy bear book and another one is a book of flowers. And I don't know. Do I need to distress those or do you leave them like that? You're going to die to make a book. <laughs> so when you have those, um, you know, picture books or those, you know, those books that have, I, and they're in my car. I don't even have them up here. Um, do you distress those? Do you make those look old? I've seen some people do it. Um, I even have a magazine, a junk journal magazine with some ideas. Um, I've been collecting yellow envelopes, even coin envelopes. I, I'm really excited to do this. I've made little scrapbooks before, you know, out of cardstock. And I, of course, I'm a scrapbooker. 
uh, I think we all started, we all started in this by scrapbooking, right? <laughs> you know, I'm, I am so do, so do. Oh my goodness. I would so love to create with you. <laughs> and you know what? It, it, you just made it look so easy. So easy. And, and just so beautiful, you know, and I loved watching your process too. Look, I'm crafting and painting and we're talking about you, but you really deserve to be talked about. <laughs> and so I'm just coloring. I'm coloring in the tree branch and the, and the trunk. And like, I got this big splatter here. I don't even know exactly what it is. <laughs> but I love this just to visit <laughs> I don't know how people feel about watching people paint and create and I'm not an artist I dabble I've been do you know dabbling my whole life <laughs> dabble in everything no thank you for sharing your knowledge for sharing your creations I think it's time, but you're right. It's time. I am due. I have watched so many videos. And this is cartoony. It, I don't intend for this to be realistic. Um, the characters that I picked to cut um, from the vinyl are very cartoony. I, I, I'm not going for realistic at all. That was never my intention um, to do realistic. <laughs> it was always cartoony. And honestly, I mean, if I can do this, anybody can do this. It's really just just coloring. I'm, I, you know, I'm not doing anything from scratch though. I should have, I should have just uh, had pictures of the cartoony animals and the cartoony scene out so I can, I can copy them. <laughs> can you see very well? Let's see. I haven't painted in so long. It kind of feels nice. And then uh, after this, I have a, a, a special, somebody wants me to make a shadow box. Oh, Marie. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you for being here. I try, Marie. I don't know how great, but I try, my friend, my dear, dear friend. Marie is a very special friend. She's been with me from like day one, encouraging me <laughs> even when I wanted to quit. I was so uh, insecure about doing these lives and doing my craft. Hey, Didi, how are you? Thank you for being here. I am painting a belly cast. Um, I will show you what I did originally. Let me, there you go right there. That is my friend's um, eight month pregnant belly. And we did a cast of it. I mentioned before, I have uh, two shorts and two reels. It's the same. You can see them either on Facebook or you can see them here on YouTube. You can just um, search my videos or shorts or whatever it is that you, sh that you could choose on here. And there's two videos. Thank you. Um, and so I've been working on this for a while and it's definitely time, time for me <laughs> to get this done 
and get this to my friend Brittany. I was like, I hope it doesn't end up being like he'll get this for his high school graduation in 18 years. But I'm like, no, I need to do it. So tonight, tonight's the night. So Marie, um, have you gotten the smoke from the fires in the north? It's pretty bad here. Um, it's, it made me really sick yesterday and even today. Chest feels heavy. It's really surreal. I just, I can't believe that this the smoke can travel so far and the smell travels with it. That's what, that's what really, you know, surprised me. And this is the stump and I don't know if I did a good job of, uh, I'm tracing it. I can barely see. Yeah, it's bad. I hope you're staying inside. They're saying shut your windows, shut your door, seal them. Stay inside. And this is a tree stump right here that I'm working on by right, right there. And I have an owl on top of this tree stump. And this is what I'm using right now is burnt umber by Americana um, Deco Art acrylic paint. I really don't have a big selection <laughs> of paints, but I'm enjoying this. So I might get some more on the windows closed and the smoke smells still. It does. It so totally does. It's awful. It's awful. Here's the stump. I'm going to go back over to the tree and start putting some, some details in the tree. Let's see if this color will, uh, I should probably get some black out too, right? And I'm just, you know, going over just to give it just a little bit of depth or something. And like I said, I have not painted in so long. <laughs> Are you feeling okay, Marie? Is it affecting your breathing at all? I was saying earlier I had to do my inhaler tonight. Just my chest feels so heavy. There's just a slight, you could barely see it, but it is making a difference. It is doing something. And then um, last week I was working on the home sign and uh, I'm almost done with that. I have all the pieces together. Well, separate together. <laughs> I just have to stain the long parts of the ladder. And then I can screw it all together. And I'm really excited about that. It looks so beautiful. I can't wait to show you all. You have an inhaler. Yeah. I, I had to use mine. So 
anybody paint? And I'm just taking this lighter color, it's sandstone. And I'm just doing what I think, like, you know, the bark. And this is still wet too. And I think I might need, here, that's what I'm doing. And, uh, this is lumpy. It's not smooth. The inside of this is really cool. Like I could use this for a mold. Do you see how smooth it is? It is so cool. I'm just going to do the same thing over here on this side. These are just kind of like the highlights where I think they should go. Just kind of willy nilly. Just kind of going with the flow. I hope she likes it. <laughs> I mean, and if not, we could always paint over it, right? That's the beauty of paint. <laughs> just paint right over it. Just grab some gesso and paint right over it. And I think Marie has seen me, um, we love to paint. Marie has seen the whole progression of this, of this project. I did a couple lives where I, uh, you know, worked, worked bits and pieces of it. And I don't know if you could see, I have like a baby deer here and I have the mommy deer here. Here's a little bird down here. Let's see, celery. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna use scallion. Moss, moss, this calls for moss. some moss and I have some fern. I'm going to start on the, on the leaves. And I'm just, I've got, I, they're not even professional grade, um, paint brushes. They're just, uh, paint brushes that I just got from wherever in a pack. But if this works out, I may have to do some more painting just on my own time, just to relax and unwind. And now I'm just painting in the leaves. And I'm using the tip of the paintbrush and I am not giving you any lessons. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just painting. <laughs> I'm just making me happy and getting this done and getting some creative therapy going. And I'm just coloring with paint. The work was done by the vinyl. See. And I'm going to go in with the lighter green and give it some depth. Do I know what I'm doing? A little bit. <laughs> I can make an art journal. Yes. Now, would I take pictures of, um, of what I've created or art in it? Paint, draw, doodle, color, all the good things. What are you thinking, Shauna? Yeah, because so many times, um, like you did tonight, you just kind of wing it, just go with an idea, um, not really plan. I, 
I haven't planned um, my projects. I just have an idea and then I just get my stuff out and I just start going with it. That's why I loved watching you tonight and your process. That's important to see the process. Both or either one. Maybe I'll do that next week. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just kind of, this one was kind of planned out because my friend did have a theme just to get the art out. Yeah, I have not journals that I've made, just, you know, notebooks. I love notebooks. <laughs> and I my intention is to write in them, write my ideas, sketch out my ideas. And there just never seems to be enough time or the right time. Or I'm always doing so many other things at the same time. And a lot of times I'll just come on and just, uh, you know, I'll be doing something for the first time, watching the process. But this is, this is kind of cute. <laughs> I'm not unhappy with it, you know. I'm not unhappy with it. Uh, and, you know, I chose really simple, simple designs for the image. I didn't want anything complicated because <laughs> then it would never, ever get done. And this is like a big blob and I'm, I'm not even sure if a leaf would look like that, but you know, I can paint over it. <laughs> Shauna, how often do you use that? Do you use it for your ideas, for your sketches or just to like doodle? Thank you so much for joining me and painting with me and hanging out with me tonight. I appreciate it. Like I said, um, I enjoy, I enjoy my Wednesday nights. I look forward to it. Um, as you women are just so super talented, like crazy talented. And I look so forward to every Wednesday night. You have a lot of details. Okay. But this has a lot of details or your, your art journal has a lot of details. <laughs> All of it. When I have a tough or happy day or an idea or an inspiration, I really need to get in the habit of that. I really do because I have so many ideas and then I don't write them down and I have these notebooks and I always tell myself, I'm going to write them down. I'm going to write them down. And I never get around to it. And then I forget the ideas and then I try to remember the ideas. The memory is not that great lately. Yeah, I can imagine doing this and just uh, having music or uh, a movie in the background and just enjoying some time, right? My, <laughs> my painting has... I, I guess... <laughs> I don't know. I'm so hard on myself. And 
when you feel less inspired. Yes. I, I'm going to start. I'm going to start doing that. And I love um, the idea with the envelopes. I have different size envelopes and, you know, I can make envelopes, right? <laughs> I can make envelopes. And I love now how um, paper companies are making products for junk, for junk journals. It, it's not necessarily junk anymore, right? Just stuff that you have around the house. Um, all the ephemera, all the bits and bubbles and pieces. I'm not that great with old stuff. Um, and I get intimidated by layering, um, like Christy does, the mixed media. I'm, I'm, I'm simplistic at heart. Let's see. Some of it I can't, I've lost... Uh, I lost some of the image. Okay, that's grass there. That's like I should have um, gone a little bit heavier with the outlining. These are just blades of grass. My one friend um, that taught me how to do this, she did a Disney theme with Bambi and Thumper. Um, it came out beautiful and she did an under the sea theme, which was absolutely beautiful and amazing. She's been doing these for a while, doing them for, for people. This is my first one solo. And I think later on I'll go in with the sponge and kind of sponge around the bottom in the green color. I should carry one with me. There's so much like out, out there that inspires. Like if you see a color combination that you like, um, you know, I'll always like think, Oh, I got to remember that color combination or, you know, like a, the sky or, you know, like an ad, an advertisement, um, a poster, you know, you see the, and I, and it's probably a really good idea to carry a notebook with me just to uh, document it so you don't remember, so you don't forget, <laughs> I should say. And I'm just going in with the, the moss color, again, to give it some depth, some highlights. And I, you know, I know I'm not gonna finish this when my time, by the time my time is up. And at nine o'clock, Christy from Christy's Crafty Cottage comes on and, uh, you know, she, she, she does marathons. So I will have something to work on while I watch Christy. And I'm using what I have too. I have um, mostly chalk paints and I have few colors in acrylic paint. So I'm just using what I have and I'm just giving some depth and some highlights to these leaves. I don't know if you could tell, snap a photo and then print it and put it in a journal. Why didn't I think of that? So I'm going to tell you a funny story about snapping photos. So last weekend, my friend had a booth at the UFO festival 
um, near here. And I went to help her. And the parking was insane. It was so, it took me 45 minutes to find a parking spot. So I was so nervous and so worried that I wouldn't be able to find my way back to the car. So like breadcrumbs, I took pictures every step of the way, like at every, every corner, I took a picture of a landmark. I took a picture of the cross, um, the cross streets. I was so scared that, um, <laughs> I wouldn't find my way back to the car because I had driven in circles and circles and circles. I was driving all around. It was so packed and so crowded. There were so many people. Um, but the nice thing was um, afterwards where her booth was, she was in front of a Mexican restaurant. So she took me out to dinner for helping her. And, you know, by the time we got done, there was nobody, there was nobody around. And, uh, <laughs> I found my way back. I, I didn't even have to look at my um, picture because I knew how to get back. <laughs> have you ever had to do that? Oh goodness. And then I was like, I should have put like a GPS, a GPS on my car. <laughs> Be like, find my car. <laughs> Oh goodness. I do that if I'm, if I'm parking someplace, um, you know, that I don't normally go to and, and it's a huge parking lot too. <laughs> I'm, I'm really terrible. I have, I have, and I, I don't even know if it's a thing, but I don't know cars. I can't, I can't tell the difference between cars. I know colors. I see colors to me, all white cars, all gray cars. They're all the same. Like all the white cars are the same. Um, and you like, when I go to the store, I, I usually park, like if I go to the, the grocery store, I usually go to the same grocery store, same couple grocery stores. Even if I go to Walmart or Dollar Tree, I always try to park in the same area because um, I, I'm so bad at remembering parking spots. And I tell this story that one time we all went, we all went out to lunch and my, and my husband, he teases me all the time too. He'll move the truck. And then he'll, like, and I always end up going to where I, I think I remember where the truck was. I just, I don't know. So we were out to lunch and, um, I had to go to the bathroom. So they, you know, they, they went out, they, um, they went out to the car. I walk up out. She has a white car. She has a white like crossover. No lie. I walked out and every car in the parking lot was a white car. And I, and I like got a little bit of a panic attack and it's only with cars. Like I, I just, I just see the color. I have no idea about the make models, any of that stuff. And they were laughing. They knew, you know, they remembered, they knew that I would be in a panic. They laughed, but then she was honking the horn. She got out of the car and she was like, we're over here. We're over here. Cause she knew that I, I panicked that I have this serious, like, I don't know what it is, why it is, but it's just like, to me, the, all the cars look the same. They just have wheels and I just see the colors of cars. <laughs> and I can't tell you how many times I've gotten into the wrong car. I'll get in, like there was a girl at work that had a gray sedan. Mine is, my car is gray. She had a, a gray sedan. And um, a couple of times she parked next to me and for some reason she left her car unlocked. I get in and I'm like, I don't remember my seats being this dark gray. And then like my friend, Sam, who was the one that had the, the, <laughs> the white car that had to hunt to me that knew about my disability. She gets out of the car. She's like, late. Uh, that's not your car. <laughs> so I'm like, Oh my gosh. I'm like, you're right. <laughs> Oh goodness. I just, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I don't know why it is. And I try, you know, then I try to, you know, if it's a sedan, like a smaller car, a big car, I don't know. Um, I can tell a tractor trailer 
<laughs> but I do know the difference. Like I never tried to get into a tractor trailer. <laughs> Although if I had one, I probably would. I have gone into so many people's cars. It happened to me at the post office about a month ago. I got on into somebody's car. And why are people leaving their cars unlocked? And I'm like, and my husband's like, you gotta be careful one of these days. Somebody's gonna like fight with you and think you're like trying to steal their car. And I'm like, I hope they realize that it's, it's an honest mistake. <laughs> the anxiety. <laughs> uh, and then my husband is a huge car fanatic. He loves um, motor vehicles. He loves cars, trucks, all that. And he gets so frustrated with me because I, I don't know one from the other. I don't know one from the other. I can't, I can't tell it. Let's see. So I've got some gray and I've got about 10 minutes. Let's, uh, let's do mushroom. A little tiny mushroom here. And I have a towel over here to the side just to kind of, um, wipe my brush after I dip it. I'm just painting the bottom of the mushroom. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's a serious problem. I don't know. Oh, yay, yay. <laughs> well, you know, when you go to a big parking lot or, God forbid, I got to go to the airport. And it's like one of those big car, carport, <clears throat> carport, you know, like multi-level carports. I always try to park on the top, top level. This way I know I'm at the top, top level. I don't care how extra I have to walk, how um, extra far it is. When they have those parking garages, I have to park at the top level. And now I'm just, I'm working on this little mushroom right next to the stump. I don't know if you can, uh, see it and I have this is uh, crimson I believe yep crimson by Waverly <laughs> this has been so fun and so nice so my segment is done at nine o'clock and um, Christie's crafty cottage goes on after me oh <laughs> I'm so glad, Marie. Thank you so much. I'm I'm feeling kind of relaxed. I've been really stressed these last two days because of the haze and, and the smoke. Um, and I needed this. I was looking forward to this. I was supposed to go live in Christie's event last night on Facebook. And I feel so terrible because I this, that's not me. That is not me not to show up. Um, but I couldn't do it. I... I could not breathe. Um, yesterday it was, it was pretty bad that first day. side of this. Thank you, Marie. 
Thank you for being here. Thank all of you for being here. It means so, so much as I, you know, try to uh, do my do my craft over here on YouTube. I absolutely enjoy this. I am so honored and so thankful that Christy invited me to be a part of this. And in my description are the links to the other crafters um, channels. So click on them, follow them. You will not be disappointed. Just uses her lucky number four in Parks and Isles or row four wherever she can. Okay. That's a good idea. But then I'll have to remember the, that. The, uh, my way is I go to the top floor. There we go. There's a little mushroom. And there's a squirrel right there. I'm going to um, paint him next. And you know what? This heats up too. The heat's going right through to the bottom. It's really, really hot. So, but there's that. Here's a blade of grass. And then here's like the mommy deer and the baby deer is here. And then there's a couple of birds down here. And then there's a bunny rabbit. Um, and then here's the tree. Here's the tree. And then I'm probably going to um, do some clouds and then make um, right here, right here, the words uh, worth the wait. I'm not going to freehand them or paint them that way. I think I'm going to use vinyl either as a stencil or actually put the vinyl on here. I don't know how it will stick, um, but it's worth the try. <laughs> and here's the tree that I did so far. You know, it's nothing fancy, you know. Um, it's just me coloring with paint. And... There it is. So I'm not going to start anything because my time is up in a few minutes, but I will bring myself back. Carry on. <laughs> Hi, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Um, thank you, Shauna. Thank you, Christy. Thank you, Christy. <laughs> um, Michelle couldn't be with us tonight. She is um, traveling. And um, Christy from Front Funky Junk Inspiration um, filled in for her before me. Um, she made a beautiful butterfly project. And Shauna from Fraps and Scraps made um, a junk journal from scratch. She started with a cardboard box. It was absolutely amazing. No idea what Christy's going to do, but it's going to be fabulous. With parking details. That's a good idea, too. That's a really good idea too. But you know, like if there's so many cars <laughs> and if they're all gray, cause my car is gray. Oh, it's a thing. It's a thing. <laughs> thank you so much, Shauna. Um, thank you all of you for tonight. Thank you. Those of you that are watching, I appreciate you being here. Um, it, it means the world. I appreciate it. And um, so I'm going to say good night. And as always, if you find yourself here and you need to hear this, you are not alone and, um, and you matter. We all matter. So thank you so much, all of you. I appreciate you being here. Have a great night. And everybody, if you are affected by these fires and the haze and the smoke, please stay safe. Um, stay inside. Take care of yourself. Okay. All right. We